right. All right. Welcome back, everyone. So, I had a pretty good night's sleep last night, even though I kind of went to bed pretty late, like 2 a.m., 2.30 a.m. But I feel great, you know? And on top of that, last night was kind of special because apparently the Supreme Court might actually overturn uh, <laughs> Roe v. Wade. So, I want, this to, I don't want this video to go too crazy, so I'll just say that uh, it's very interesting what's happening. Um, so far, riots have not started, but I know protests are going off. And of course, and of course, counter protesters. So uh, we'll see how that plays out. But uh, let's just say that I'm sitting very pretty right now. So um, I couldn't really ask for much more uh, in the overall scheme of things. And the best part is, Sphere's back at 1.5 cents. So I was even thinking selling some Sphere because I thought it might go below one penny and then buy back in cheaper. But I was like. This thing is so oversold already. It's already minus 90%. Like, how does this make sense from the all-time high? Even Titano is actually under a little pressure, which is fine for me because, I mean, I'm going to buy more. You know, I'm buying... I'm, do, I'm doing very little small micro buys, though. Like, I don't even know how much it's worth. Like, I guess... Uh, how much is Binance? Yeah, so like 40 bucks here and 60 bucks here. I took a very small portion. Right, because I know that everything's going to pump tomorrow, so, you know, I'm going to see what happens. So, anyway, uh, projects are pretty light today. Yada Crypto just came back, and he only did one video, for, I guess, apparently today or yesterday. And it's on Baked Cats, which I already covered. But that's good, because that makes Baked Cats probably a little more legit, you know. So, I'm still, I'm still kind of paranoid about, like, you know, brand new launches being rug pull scams, like Astro Farmer. Because I really thought that... When the contract's immutable, or you renounce ownership, you can't rug pull it, but apparently you still can, so it's like, ah, oh, geez, you know? So, uh, from the usual YouTube sources, uh, and actually, I have not been going on Murdoch DeFi's YouTube at all, because he just, because everything he, like, every project, like, half the projects he promotes are, like, outright scams, or toxic communities, so I, I don't like that. And quite frankly, as much as I want to rank for those keywords and projects. I'm not sure I want to be attracting that kind of person to, to, to my community here, you know? So, uh, so yeah. Also, I need to watch Jesse Lee Peterson because I gave him five bucks. I just want to see uh, what he, how he responds to the, the super chats. I actually realized that once you get big and you do a live stream, the reason why people give you money is because they just want to talk to you and just see your reaction. So it's like, oh, okay. So that's why I give money. <laughs> But, I mean, it's good to support Jesse, so, you know, I'm, I'm happy to just hand him some money, you know. It's not a lot, but, you know, that's because, you know, we're still waiting on crypto, right, to do its thing. So, I don't know, we'll see, uh, we'll see how good things are tomorrow when the Fed does its, uh, you know, fit, likely 50 basis point rate hike. If they do anything other than that, ah, uh, jeez. Oh, forget about it. All of you are going to need to apply for welfare, unemployment, or a, a job, All right? I can't do that because... Uh, in New York, I, apparently a lot of businesses still require that I get the jab before I can work, you know, so. Ay. You know, I would have to actually take a train or a plane ticket to, like, California and do the smash and grab thing, right? I have to join the uh, other dangerous minorities where, like, you could just walk in, take whatever you want, and as long as it's below $950, th th no way can do anything to you. <laughs> so, it's like, you know, like, how is this just not a free-for-all, you know? All right, so anyway, uh, there's like a semi-different hybrid minor project. I mean, this is actually kind of somewhat different, but basically you... Oh, wait. Uh, oh, okay. Like, wh where's all the stuff? Basically, you stake your Binance coin, and then you get back something called uh, B, uh, BBR token, or BNB ring, right? So they chose BBR. Now... What I'm curious to know is, is there a tax? Because I don't see a tax anywhere. And from what I can tell, you just put some money in. So it's kind of like, I don't know, think of it as like a Genesis pool, I guess, from a Tomb Fork, except it just lasts forever. So I don't know how this BBR token gets its value from, but apparently one of these is worth $1.26, which is actually really good. Any chance there's a chart? I mean, I can actually buy this. I understand. Yeah, but I mean, I mean, I guess you could try doing something like this. I don't know what's gonna happen with. Oh, there's a farming table here. <clears throat> <clears throat> I 
Okay, so there apparently is like a fixed amount of this BBR token, and supposedly this project's going to do something with it. So, donaldjones.gitbook.io forward slash bnbring.net. Okay, yeah, that inspires a lot of confidence. I'm just reading the URL of this documents page. You get to see it for yourself here. <laughs> So, I'm obviously going to pass on this, but, I mean, maybe, uh, oh, okay, oh, so this is what I was looking for. There has to be some kind of tax. All right, so when you put your money in, I don't think there's a tax, but when you pull out your Binance coin, there's a 10% tax. It says right here in very small letters, hilariously enough, maybe on purpose, probably on purpose, there's a 10% unstaking fee. So you put in one Binance coin, you immediately unstake it, you only get back 90%, uh, 0 0.9. So, <clears throat> so I mean, uh, I don't remember which of the YouTubers were doing this. No operations yet. Oh, maybe this is just for me personally, but obviously I'm not doing this project. So, I don't know. I guess you could try farming this as long as this BBR token is worth something. Um... You know, to be honest, I don't even know what I'm supposed to write in this uh, per day. So, okay, I don't want to do this math, so let me do one. You get 9.3, so you get $10. So you get like 1% of, oh, jeez. So you don't even really get that much per day. Yeah, this is, uh, and I don't even know why that guy covered this project, but... I mean, I guess I could say this is technically low, much lower risk because you put in Binance coin and you pretty much get it out, but you got to get back at least 10% BBR before you unstake it. And because of this farming uh, schedule, you know, it's going to take a while before this, uh, this, this project runs out of whatever this token is. And of course, you get less of it as time goes on. So it does get more and more scarce. So maybe the value could actually remain at 126. Uh, but for me personally, I'd rather just stick with an actual minor project, right? But maybe for some of you, you might actually be interested in this. I mean, there is a TVL of like 48.5K, which is probably better than most minor projects because most minor projects are actually very small or they go scam or they just, the contract uh, size just drains, right? So, yeah. So anyway, check out uh, BNB Ring. I don't know what I'm going to call this for SEO. <clears throat> I mean, there's not even a uh, daily APR. I don't know. I guess I'll just call it a low risk uh, 1%. I mean, I don't know. I'll do like low risk 1% daily APR. Uh, something like that. I don't know. Yeah, I'll, I'll figure it out. So anyway, like, subscribe, share this video around. Uh, thank you again to all the new people and the old watching, uh, especially everybody from, I think, that Titano video that I did yesterday. So I'm still uh, still going to be adding, uh, you know, DCA here and there in a little bit because Titano is under a little pressure. So, you know, I don't want to go too crazy with the buys. You know, I want to make it much more consistent. And then, you know, we'll, uh, we'll reevaluate tomorrow. And, oh, by the way, I'll be going live tomorrow. Right around 2 o'clock New York City time, because obviously, I just want to know what the Federal Reserve does, and then maybe answer some of your questions. Because the last time I did a live stream, I was actually kind of surprised. There were actually a lot more people than I normally see there. It was like 16 or 32 people or something. That's actually a lot for, like, you know, kind of small channel. I mean, obviously the channel's gotten bigger since a couple months ago, but, you know, growth has been kind of slow, but steady, so... I don't know if we're at 1,500 yet, but, uh, you know, if we're not, we should keep pushing. If we are, hey, great. You know, let's push for 1,600. All right. Um, yeah, and then, I don't know. I mean, crypto seems to be doing okay, and so are the markets. No, wait, it's my Twitter. Uh, fear trade, because I haven't watched Greg Manorino, because I have to spend my morning doing the silent prayer, so. Okay, so six. All right, so it's just going to be another uh, crap day. It's going to be relatively flat, too. Okay, yeah, I'm totally fine with this. All, all I care about at this point is I just want things to be flat or slightly lower so that we can buy time for tomorrow, and then we'll <clears throat> and then we'll see how much of a gain we can get, get from the Federal Reserve. Provided they don't actually screw everything up. <clears throat> uh, there was some... 
My stupid next door neighbor is smoking because now that it's getting warmer, everyone's smoking. And it's like, I freaking hate it so much. <clears throat> it's really working up the phlegm. Yeah, I'm probably gonna get lung cancer from all this secondhand smoke. Yeah. What are you gonna do, all right? All right, I'll see you in the next video. It should be, I think it's an NFT or a minor project. I know the, those are what's up uh, for the next two. Actually, I should probably just do the minor project first because that'll go faster.